Okay, is there anything else? There's no score rupee. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're just gonna go ahead and move on here. Okay, what's in here? That's a ball toy. Okay. Um, ground psychic. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and lead Meowth, and we'll go ahead and invite others to, to do this. Yeah, like, Pokemon Rangers, uh, Pokemon Rangers are probably, like, I, I say National Guard, Pokemon Rangers are probably it. But they, like, we, we're, we're talking about a, like, government-run, practically combat organization, right? And the entire point of this group, what, actually, I'm, I'm gonna switch to, uh, what am I doing? Andreas Isle should be the one that leads. But we're talking about a, like, professional organization, and the entire point is to stop wild Pokemon when they're rampaging. So it's probably the Rangers, if we're going to be 100% honest. But when I think of Pokemon Rangers, I'm thinking more of like a, you know, a park ranger or something like that. Um, but yeah, the entire point behind this organization is specifically like, you know, you see one or more Rhyhorn uh, starting, to, uh, starting to cause problems. You know, you call in these guys and they're going to have... You know, Corviknights and other flyers, and they're going to get them in, and they're in, the entire point of this organization is to shut down these wild Pokemon before they can cause uh, tremendous problems. And then if we talk about freaking the Galar region with these, with these Dynamax Pokemon that for basically no reason become gigantic, they're going to cause such problems. It is not even funny. It's like, okay, look, there's a Dynamax ball toy running around. Cool. Let's let's get the emo gecko out, and it's gonna it's gonna respond in time. <laughs> Hi, this is my emo gecko. It doesn't care for your bullshit. Oh yeah. That's about right. Yeah, feather dance. That's that's gonna be useful. Thank you, Haluka. You you were you were a useful boy. Max mind skill. You tried. I don't know what that did. The battlefield got weird. Okay. I like it. That's the best it can say about that. The battlefield got. Why did I throw a... Why was a standard Pokeball what was chosen for me? Why did I not have a Great Ball available? Yeah, I don't know the fact the capture can fail. We haven't seen it fail yet. I'm curious. We haven't seen it happen yet. Some It moves while spinning around on its single foot. Some ball toys have been seen spinning on their heads. Okay, makes sense. Okay. So that happened. Um, right. So that's just a bunch of more... Okay, Torkoal. Let's go grab this. This is new. Ooh. Okay, good for Squire. You got this, bud. Actually, I'm kind of worried the Corvus Squire does not have this because, uh, because we have sunlight effects going on right now. gonna make uh, Torkoal's fire moves more powerful. Okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one more home claws and then we're gonna try to power trip. 
and hopefully it won't kill it. Oh, you jerk! Does that include the negative ones as well? Yeah. That's uh, that's a jerk move by by Torkoal. It's a good move. It's a jerk move. Stop using clear smog. That's such a jerk move. You bastard. I'm trying to set up on you so I can actually capture you. And, like, you're getting rid of my stat changes. And then it uses smoke screen again. Like, I'm literally only home clausing to counter its freaking accuracy reduction. And then it gets rid of everything. Okay, there's Flame Wheel. How bad is this going to hurt? Really bad. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. And of course it has Protect, too. Of course it does. God, why does every... <laughs> why do all these Pokemon have these really shitty, like, movesets? Like, it, it is... It's seriously bullshit. I'm getting kind of bothered by it. That it, like... There are all of these Pokemon that are Protect, but they also have Accuracy Reduction or Evasion Increasing. Like, we've been seeing an awful lot of that um, in these past couple of areas. That it's just like, yeah, let me just waste your time endlessly. Of course, use Protect again. Like, we're seeing a lot of that. I mean, keep in mind, I have been, like, I've already been playing for two hours today. So, it's not as if I just saw that. Like, last night, when we were going through the uh, the mines, we were seeing an awful lot of Pokemon that had Protect, Sand Attack, Double Team. Like, we were seeing a lot of that. Torkoal's uh, gone. Zigzagoon and Torfish both leveled up. Nice. Uh, I don't really care for baby doll eyes. We're going to skip that nonsense. Yo, know, I'm hoping not a lot of them have that. Like, we're going to be... There's there's really easy ways to skip a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the random encounters from what I've seen so far. So, I'm not really expecting to see so much trouble with the random encounters in um, the, the speed run. What I haven't seen so far, however, is a really good way... A really good poke to uh to to jump to in the speed run um that's something i've been really looking for is like a good pokemon that is significantly higher level that i can trade for or just has really good stats and i haven't seen one yet Okay, we can stop this anytime. I mean, I don't, I don't think Torkoal is going to be a Pokemon we're going to use for the speedrun, to be honest with you. It, it, so far, that's a pretty late catch. Uh, that's already going to be a while into the speedrun. So it's a pretty late catch, and uh, it's not going to be like a really high level. So it's not going to be something I'm going to jump to. I'm still thinking my first attempt... Um, is probably gonna be uh with with Corva Squire. But I'm I've been looking for like trades and such to see if there's like a trade I could do that would get me um that would get me higher level. 
And so far, I really just haven't seen one. Let's see what level this is. And we're not okay, very strong, so I'm not going to really catch it. So, and the other problem is we're not going to be able to catch is the other thing. So, hold, holy shit. This level 55 Rhydon just kind of floating around in this area. At least get confused. Still run. Uh, this is going to kill me. Yes, it is. Uh, I'd like to run away, please. Thank you. So, we're seeing a lot of, uh, let me go see what that is. We're seeing a lot of Pokemon, but the problem is that most of these Pokemon, I can't catch. Like, even if I had a Pokemon that could weaken that level 55 Rhydon. Um, oh, hey, it's Firestone. That's useful. So, even if I had a Pokemon that could weaken that level 55 Rhydon to a point that, um, are you just a... Okay. Even if I had something that could weaken that into catch range, I'm not allowed to catch it. Like, the game is actually set up in a way that you cannot... Oh, hey. Yes. You can't catch those. Um, see, very strong with flip. So, I can't catch this. I'm not allowed... Like, the game will not allow me to catch this. What level is it? 36? It is one level out of my catch range. That's obnoxious. Well, the fight's already over. Because it's whirlwind. So, yeah. I'm not allowed to catch that. I'm just going to kind of move on. What about you? Sure. What's your brilliant find? Two big pearls. That is a really good deal. Cool. Uh, what level is this? High? Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna bother. Um, yeah. Nope, level 40. Of course I can't get away, so it's just gonna one-shot this Pokemon. I'd like to get away, please. Thank you. If I can't... If I can't catch it, let me leave. Like... again and heal up again. Okay, what else have I not cooked with? Um, let's try cooking with Bob's food tin. I'm only going to add one cherry berry. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the big flames. Okay. And we put the love in at the right time, so this should be a super food. Like, this this should be, like, spicy, juicy curry. Cool. God damn it, stop making me hungry. I don't have food coming for another four hours. Come on. I'm guessing that, yeah, I'm guessing Milstery class is as good as it gets. So let's, let's kind of take a look here. 
So is everything, is that a full heal? Yeah, okay, so that's a full heal, including revive. That's good to know. Okay, so that's a Noibat. I already have that. What's this over here? Is that a... That's a Sneasel. I don't have a Sneasel. I don't think better ingredients are a thing I'm really worried about. about the confusion. I've, I've always been a fan of Sneasel. Sneasel's such a cool looking Pokemon. There might be a food that gives boosts. I haven't found one yet, but there might be one. So far, all the foods I have found have just been heal. That's all it's been. It's all, it's all it's done. But I would be interested to find a, uh, a boosting food because the speed run would... Like, if that was a thing, the speed run would probably use it. But that's... The problem is, is that, that the cooking takes a while. It's like two minutes. Um, so, I don't know... Like, it takes a while. So, I don't... Like, it's, it's longer than a Poke Center heal, and we don't use Poke Center heals. If I tried the attack item I get after Dynamax fights, I don't know if not too much. I'm gonna try Sucker Punching it. See if I can get it into Red Bar. Nope. Oh, it's taunting me now. Cool. cool. Yeah, I... Like, I... I would love to, to do an attacking move, but you decided not to attack me back. Cool, it's in Red Bar. Nice. The item that got the name of a CT? I have no idea what you're talking about. What do you mean CT? The item with the name of a city? Okay, you're in Red Bar, dude. Like, what? You're in Red Bar. Get caught. Are you talking about, like, the Dynamax candy? Sneasel, get caught, please. Oh my god. I don't want to throw out one of the birds, because... This thing will just eat my birds. But, like, we're taking damage from freaking ice every turn. Dude, get freaking caught. Click. Ah, why free shake break? This is infuriating. There's nothing I can do at this point. Like, I, there's, there's no... I, I could I could false swipe it, I guess. I guess I could false swipe. Welcome back. And just put it to one HP, but I don't know how much difference it's gonna make. Cool. Now you're at one HP. Get caught. Thank you. Did I find what the item in the reward of the Dynamax fight that got named like triple attack or like that does? Are you talking about the training records? It's 
paws and seal sharp claws and attack it suddenly extends the paws and stalls its enemies if you if, look if you say conceal sure those look pretty obvious to me like are you talking about Are you talking about these things? Like like the try attack this. So those are training records. So they are one time use um uh TMs. So they kind of go back to um like the old school TMs back from like generation, uh, I want to say one and two, where, um, yeah, like the first level games, where TMs were one use only and that was it. And in fact, there's actually an NPC that even says something like that, that it's meant to be, they're meant to be old school. Okay, can you please not give me a fight and just get the ball? Yeah, it took me it took me a bit to nice crit, uh, crit bro. It took me a bit to figure out what they were, uh, and then one NPC actually said it. I didn't want to try using one. I originally thought they were like free TMs, and like you got a TM from every Dynamax you did. Um, when this Pokemon is in good health, its snot becomes thicker and stickier. It will smear its snot on anyone it doesn't like. Okay. So the healthier I am, the more snot I have. That, that makes perfect sense. So, this thing is up here. I kind of don't want to deal with that. Because I'm reasonably certain I can't catch it. I don't need any more of those. For now, at least, I'm just gonna kind of move on. I have no idea what I just got to uh, grasp by. Oh, oh this thing's good. I think we're just gonna run from this. I don't really wanna. I don't really wanna deal with that. Oh my god. Leave me alone. Stop spawning inside of me. And there's an NPC that gives you a training record and then kind of lets you know what it is and what it does. So I'm I'm making the assumption that the majority Nice, a water stone. I'm making the assumption that the majority of moves in the game can be found on either a training record or a uh or a TM. And mostly right now, I'm just looking for hidden items. There's a house over there. And that's a Noibat. I don't really, there's not really a lot around here that I'm seeing that I really care about. I guess it's a good thing. You're probably way too high a level. I'm not going to even bother. Just pick up some of these watts as I go. Hello. What are you guys doing? We're two brothers and our nose digging duo. We dig up treasure here, okay? Got a fair bit of luck in finding us here. If you'd like to spot us some watts, we'll dig you up some handy treasures for your adventure. Okay. Uh, sure. Dig for me. It's a bag of soft sand. Uh, sure. Keep digging. Bag of stardust. Yep. Bag of soft sand. Please keep digging. Shiny stone. That's really useful. A lagging tail. Smooth rock. Rare bone. Is this all for the same amount of money? Please keep digging. Like, this is all extremely useful. Fossilized turd? Oh, he ran out. Eleven treasures. Okay. But supposedly the brother... Oh, okay. Yeah, please, please dig for me. That was all very useful. Fossilized bird, okay. 
Another shiny stone. Oh, and you're done. Shame. It's a once per day thing, I'm assuming. It's interesting, it's not once per day. Oh, Moonstone, okay. Another bag of Stardust. Everstone. Icy Rock. Damp Rock. I don't really care about the rocks. Firestone is good. Another Shiny Stone. A Sunstone. Damn, dude! Oh, wait. Not been you can still keep on digging? Oh, okay. Everstone. More soft sand. Rare bow. So some of these are actually just money items, and that's really useful. 15 treasures. Yeah, let's go look at the other one. Well, they seem to have been grabbing a lot of the same stuff. Fossilized Drake. Okay. Common Shard. Iron Ball. Maybe you're right. Fossilized Dino. Comet Shard. And he's done. Five treasures. Okay, interesting. Okay, well that's a that's a good like that's a better use of Watts in my opinion. Oh hey, we have another Pokemon Daycare Center. It's a wild area branch of Pokemon Nursery. Uh, no. So we have two Pokemon Nurseries, so we can we can potentially breed two sets of Pokemon simultaneously. So that's really useful. Okay, I already have you guys. Uh, okay. That's interesting. Wait, why is there a Frillish... Hold up, we got some cash to do. Why is there a Frillish outside of the water? Okay, um, I think a water gun is as high as I'm willing to use. Damn! It's a ghost and obviously that left the water. You know what, you're not wrong. Okay, hopefully we'll see another one of those. There's another ball toy, and I need one. Let's see if I can catch that. Someone started making Corby's egg. I don't know why you'd bother doing that. Like, I don't, I don't, I can't think of, there's nothing special enough about that bird that I'd really want to, um, start breeding it in mass. Like, it's the poke right now I want, as far as I can think of, it's the poke I want right now to use the speedrun just because it can home claws. Um, and it has, uh, the, uh, that drag move. So I want it for its move set, but I can't think of another reason why I'd want to breed it. Got two Sneasels. Uh, where's the where's the ball toy? Yeah, I'm gonna try to water gun it. It's probably gonna kill it. But this is the lowest. Yeah. That's the lowest like, skill I have for use against this thing. I'm not gonna bother shiny hunting until I have the shiny charm. That just sounds like a not fun time.